Okay, welcome to another episode. It's time for me to go to Hilbert Dimension. So this ship, which um, somebody wanted to know where the supercharged slots were, they're um, here, here, here. I think that's all of them. Oh, no, there's one here. So there's three sort of close to each other that I'm using for the hyperdrive. Gets me up to almost 2,000. And uh, one for, um, I put it on maneuverability, but uh, probably should move it to something for damage on the photocannon. In any case, all right, to go from uh, from this system to Hilbert, Euclid to Hilbert, first find a planet to land on. If there's no bases, if nobody has bases in your system, a lot of times I'll land at somebody's base to switch my to. Next, after you summon your main ship, I mean, you have your, after you have your main ship, the next thing you do is summon your crash ship. So, I call this my, uh, I put the word crash in its name. Now, normally you need a full hyperdrive to go to another system. But we're following the quest line, the Artemis quest line. So that will let us go to another system also. So just so you can see, it pretty much, oh, this needs to store. 33% is actually really pretty good, if I remember correctly. Um, okay, this is fixable. And I... I I'm gonna need a little... Technology recharge. The next item that you need to do is switch your multi-tool broken tool. Now, 
on the exosuit, everything have some chromatic metal. I'll need, uh, I remember correctly, for the multi-tool, I want to have nanotubes made. Okay. My exosuit. Oh, this needs to go down. My starship is going to stay like this, and this is from now on just going to have these items up on it. And this multi tool is just going to have the three basic things so that it uh, can be easily repaired. All right, let's well, time to go to Hilbert. The way we're getting to Hilbert, again, is through the Atlas quest line. We just warp to another system because we're at 15 out of 16. On 16... It's going to send us... Into the... Into the finishing part of the Artemis line. And give it a minute. It should um, start giving me stuff for the quest line. says in the low right hand corner uh, it said how the portal ley line was located and it gives me that red and white symbol it says final interface portal all right some of you will be interested in a multi-tool that looks like this So let me give you the coordinates for the system. It's in Euclid. Pretty sure. It's a nice hauler, in my opinion. I happen to like the color blue. All right, let's go. take this time to swap your ship and multi-tool and stuff, just so you know. I'm used to doing it before warping. shimmers as I look at it, never quite resting long enough for my eyes to process it fully. I must focus and activate the portal.
cry out over and over. I cry out thinking of my journey, thinking of all the things that I have seen. Of Artemis, who just wanted to meet another traveler, who just wanted an end to their loneliness. I cry out thinking of Apollo, who gave me purpose when all purpose seemed lost. I cry out thinking of Null, thinking of how they lived, what choices they made, the path that led them to this end. If I cry out again, there's no return. If I cry out again, I must make my final choice. Artemis once said that when they first reached out to the heavens, they had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. I stand before the interface of the Atlas, before the center of all things. I stand before the death of existence. Cry out. On the sixth cry, the Atlas answers. Traveler. Eh? Does it make a difference? I don't even know if these choices make a difference. I'm just gonna say submit. It speaks, I understand. At my command, the Atlas will initiate a reset. It has happened before, and it seems to stop nothing. It still only has 16 minutes left. I do not know what I will remember when it happens. When I woke up next to my ship, had I just performed a reset, had someone else. Everything is coming to an end. Perhaps all that is left is to learn the final truth of the simulation, to know who the travelers truly are. And then a thousand galaxies will be gone and a thousand more will appear. It will all be mine to explore. I say reset simulation. I reset simulation. I have to know what happened. Okay, to go to Hilbert. Let's see if I remember which color would be the right one. Red, green. Blue. And this odd uh, off looking color from the three, I believe, is Hilbert. Reset simulation. Yep, we're in Hilbert Dimension. That's the second galaxy after Euclid. Aerial 
propulsion jetpack online. Multi tool inlining laser attachment operational. User initialization sequence complete. Okay, so the first thing is we put the stuff down here, particularly the um, hazard protections up. Uh, you're looking for, in this case, I noticed it said it was radiation. So the radiation is the one that's going to need to be filled. That's this. Okay, so radiation. I'll fill it with uranium. Next is the multi-tool. Ferrite dust, 75. 30 ferrite dust. And then the carbon nanotubes. Then... Toggle the multi-tool. Okay, and you got back your main multi-tool. Head to your starship. Okay, this emergency broadcast should be for a, whatchamacallit, a village. So maybe I'll, I'll show that in, the, in another episode, or maybe we'll look for one. We'll see. Okay, they're in distress. And they gave us the coordinates. Maybe we'll do that in another episode. But what I'd like you to see is all the components in the ship are damaged. So I go through and I fix those. Hermetic seal, metal plating, uh, dihydrogen jelly, pure ferrite, pure ferrite, sodium nitrate, chromatic metal and three microprocessors, chromatic metal, sodium nitrate. The microprocessors require nanotubes. And if you're prepared, that's how easy it is to have everything fixed. Now, you just summon your main ship, and you're ready to roll in the new galaxy. Um, in here 
here was functional just like that. You summon your other ship, and you are now ready to roll in the new galaxy. Thank you for watching.